As, as for the public education sector, Education Minister the Honorable Jerome Fitzgerald said they face some challenges and as a result, a number of the schools will not open tomorrow as planned. The following island schools will not open on Tuesday. Will not. All New Providence public schools, all North Andrus and Central Andrus public schools, all Berry Islands or the Berry Island public schools, all Grand Bahama public schools. I wish to again reiterate that no schools, no public schools, will open on the islands of New Providence, North Andrus, the Berry Islands, and Grand Bahama. We wish to emphasize that private and independent schools will determine when they will be in a position to resume schools and provide the public with notices to that effect. We understand, of course, that electricity and the restoration of electricity will be a major component. We have some schools that have minimal damage and we have some schools that have major damage. We have assessed the outside of the buildings, but we have not been able to assess the interior of the buildings on all the schools, which we will do during the course of tomorrow. As for the private sector officials of the Catholic Board of Education announcing that schools in New Providence and Grand Bahama won't open this week as well. However, all staff and teachers are asked to report to school at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. They say that students should be able to return to school on Monday, October 17th. However, there's no date for the reopening of Mary Star of the Sea School in Freeport. A reopening date will be announced upon further assessment of damage. The Catholic Board of Education also announcing that midterm break has been cancelled due to instructional days loss. The Anglican Central Education Authority wishes to advise that following initial assessments of schools in New Providence, Exuma and Grand Bahama, the decision has been made for them to remain closed until further notice. As such, students and teachers are to remain at home until schools are ready for normal operation. Teachers will be contacted by their administrators when they are ready to report to duty. Queens College sustained significant damage to its Village Road campus from Hurricane Matthew. A release confirmed that school will not reopen tomorrow as there is no electricity on campus. However, all Queens College staff have also been advised to report to campus tomorrow. Parents and guardians are further advised to check the school's website for another update tomorrow afternoon on when school will reopen.